There we go. Hey, how goes it? Ken Bozak here to talk about crypto and crypto accessories. And today we're going to be playing Steam Monsters via SteamMonsters.com. And uh, we're going to be participating in the tournament here. See, we have uh, the tournaments tab. Got to refresh it because for some reason it's highlight stuck. All right, so we have the tournaments tab here on SteamMonsters.com. And you can see Mytherium, the daily Mytherium tournament. So, uh, as you know, I play mytherium.io, and they host tournaments on Steam Monsters. I helped them do that. You see, Cambo's that. All right, so uh, this is today's tournament, but if you go ahead and check out tomorrow, Friday night, uh, as you can see right here, there's, um, there's a pack of Awakening cards, which you can see is worth 0.158F right here. So you have a chance to win 0.158th worth of in-game NFTs Friday night, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. All you have to do is enter. It's free to enter, silver league, all cards are playable, single elimination. And even third place will win 5 steam and second place will win 10 steam. Alright, so don't forget to check in on that tournament as well. This one's going to get started relatively soon, so let's go ahead and get this. Uh, uh, let's get ready. You know how I get ready. This is how I get ready. This is Excalibur. It's like the bong stuck in the stone kind of a, yeah, it's <laughs> definitely going to get you stoned. All right, we got about 17 seconds left. All right, it's starting. <coughs> I have a buy. Why do I always seem to get a buy? All right, so let's go to the collection real quick. I want to show you guys this. Uh, so we can go to the beta. And we'll go to all cards. So there's 79 cards in all of the beta. And if you look at the ones I own, cards owned in beta, 79. I own every single Steam Monster card there is. At least, um, you know, the beta edition is not in gold. I'm trying my best to stack up these gold cards. I have 25 owned, right? Good. Out of 79. Uh, as you can see, some of them can be a little bit inexpensive. Some of them can be pretty pricey. Uh, it depends on what you're looking for here. So this one's $1.14. I'll grab one just so I can add it to my collection. I might pick up a gold card every single day until I finish my gold card collection. Uh, I want to own every single gold card, every single beta card, and then I'll work on the alpha. The alpha is probably something I should start now. But uh, the beta cards are more commonly used. Uh, might take uh, one or two shots to try to get the steam keychain. There we go to up and run. So it's only going to cost me three steam, right? So it means totally worth it. I get three steam sometimes on some of my live streams because this right now is being live streamed on Steam it uh, via vimm.tv. So Vim TV right now, that's what I'm streaming live on, is sending this live stream to Steam it. Um, so that's really cool uh, of vim.tv. So it works with restream.io. So I can stream on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Steam it, DLive, and BitTube all at once. Seems like I ran into a little pinwheel here. Let me see if I can break out of that. Break out of that pinwheel gel. Where did I put my uh, vaporizer? Oh, it's in my pocket. There we go. All right, guys. So, what happened? Did I break it? Oh, I got to log back in. Okay, I might have timed out. All right, so I have a buy right now. Let me go back to my collection and make sure that that purchase went through of the gold, the gold basic card here. There we go. Let's go to all cards. So as you can see now, I own this one, and I just have to keep stacking up every day. 
Um, you can see that these ones here are going to be the more expensive ones for sure. Um, look at this. Yeah. 300 bucks for the cheapest gold Hydra. That's what I mean. I got to win some of these tournaments so I can afford to grab some of these cards because I would love to grab one of these. Let's see. As you can see, I only have one right now, but the one I have is worth $300. I just have to um, hopefully grab some more of these gold, these gold uh, beta edition legendary cards. Hey, how good is it, hero? Uh, let me see. Maybe I can get lucky if I open a pack. Hey, hero, post your Steam it account and I'll send you a beta pack. All right, fingers crossed. I got a rare one off the bat. That's that's a good sign. Two rare cards. All right, now we're fucking with uh, with uh, Lady Luck here. Like, what are the odds, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, I'm gonna open one more, and that leaves me two left. And then Hero, if you post your Steam it account or your Steam uh, Steam it username, if you don't have one, let me know, and I can hook you up with a promo code. That'll actually get you on. Too rare again right off the bat. Alright, so I have two left. And I actually have some of these uh, beta tokens. So these are unopened packs of cards. And I can send these to Steam Monsters. So Steam Monsters. I can send them two. And then they're sending me back two packs right here that I can open. Now these tokens you can acquire on SteamEngine.com, which is really cool. Uh, then you can just hold on to the packs of cards or trade them on a third third party exchange, you know, uh, open market there. All right, I'm gonna open one or two more of these. I really want to see if I can get my hands on a gold card through some of these packs. I would love to get a freaking legendary. course not it's only because I'm live streaming if I wasn't live streaming I'd probably get something gold all right the last two packs one of them's for you hero and one of them is if anybody wants to challenge me to a battle so if you want to challenge me my username is Kenneth Bozak so you type that in you wager one pack and then you can probably do like Silver League or Gold League. I don't really do the Diamond League. And then, you know, it challenged me to a duel. All right, let's see. In progress, entered. So I'm still waiting for uh, this here to finish up. So here's the activity you can see. The details. All right, and here we go. We have 59 people that have entered to win a eh, about 10 steam if you win in first place um let me see I gotta go back because that was a little yeah see no I, I get it why are you stuck being highlighted there we go so 10 steam for first place uh two steam or uh second place five steam third place one steam all right, now I'm in my first battle of the tournament. Um, probably not going to do the best. I, I suck at tournament battles for some reason, but after this, I got to do some quest battles to earn rewards cards where you can get free Steam Monster cards just for playing the game. And uh, I play the game once a day, every day, just to keep active at it. And uh, with 15 mana, what am I going to do? Uh, actually, this, because I have my Steam Monster. Sea Monster has 9 health, 4 attack, 8 mana, but it has the heal. And it leaves me with 5 mana, which I can probably use for uh, a good... I don't need to really use the uh, Crustacean King for the tank heal, which would heal the card in the first place. With the 5 extra mana, I'm thinking I might want to go ahead and use somebody that has a heavy range. So this one... Oh, and he has heal as well. So basically, I'm using 2 heavy hitters. The sea monster that has the uh, melee attack for four uh, and uh, nine health, 
two speed, not that bad, cost eight mana. And then I have the uh, water elemental here that has three uh, damage on range. And then that, unfortunately, if he ends up in the first position, not looking too good, right? But hopefully that, you know, uh, sea monster holds up. And he has heal as well, five with five speed, so he'll probably be going first. Fingers crossed. Oh, you're moving on to the next round. All right, congrats. GG, bro, bro. Drop your uh, username right here in the chat, and I'll send you a pack of cards to celebrate. That's what's up. Cheers. I'm going to be streaming every day at 8 p.m. playing Steam Monsters on SteamMonsters.com. I'll be hosting tournaments in honor of my Ethereum on Steam Monsters and tomorrow they'll be giving away a pack of Awakening cards which you can use in my Ethereum to enter tournaments to potentially win die, which is basically as good as cash in your pocket. And uh, as you can see Steam Monsters has done over 20,000 and I believe my Ethereum may be probably at the same amount at this point, right? Uh, let's see. Alright, so we can rumble. I love how it has like the uh, the banner for my Ethereum where it says like partners with Opskins like in the background. Like this is a really good concept for like cross promotional uh, tournament style like gameplay. Yeah, see, damn it. All right, all right, Death Cloud. How is it every time I have to battle Death Cloud? Every single time I fight in a tournament, this is like five days in a row. It's always Death Cloud. It's insane. There's there's no way. Every time? Alright, so no more of those like big heavy hitters. I gotta be more strategic. He is really strategic. Alright, um hmm. Alright, let's see. I have my heal. No, because he's just so gangster. I feel like I should use this carb. Then I'm afraid he's just going to really fuck me up. So, Let's see. Only melee attack monsters can be used anyway. And that only leaves me with two, though. Man's got me second-guessing myself at every step right now. And if I was going to use just the two, I'll probably use him, right? So if I got rid of the 10, I could use him. All right, so instead of the heavy hitters, I'm gonna try to, like I said, be more strategic. So I have eight left. Now I have six left, let's see. Alright. Hopefully I can catch a win, man. Yo, seriously though? Death Cloud's no joke. No, because now it's a personal goal to beat Death Cloud at least once. That would be a victory all on its own. Fuck the tournament. Alright, let's see what we can do. Bring it, Death Cloud. I ain't scared much. All right, we picked the same summoner. So like I said, I brought out the heal. Yeah, see, he's got the shield. One attack, though. Slows me down. Two, two, two. Two, 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 one. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to speed this up. I almost can't watch. Like I said, I have battle quests that I need to get out of the way anyway, but like, wowzers. Oh, cool. I was, I was poisoned. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't my doggy be poisoned? Yup, he just totally obliterated me. GG, bro. Damn. And I don't, look, you'll see, I'm going to do battles. I don't do battles like that. It's just like insane 
I'm just not strategic enough in tournament style. But he's on his way, you know, Dark uh, Death Cloud. He's on his way to uh, win 10 Steam right now. Walk away with like what, like five bucks? But I have to do my battles and my tournaments. Oh, I got your username right here. There we go. Copy. All right, now if I go to open here, there's an option to actually send the cards. So send. And send as a gift. And now you should have received a pack of cards that you can open just like this. Let's see if I got some good karma. Get one of those gold uh, legendary cards. Gold legendary, gold legendary, gold legendary. Give me the freaking. Show me the gold. Okay, we got one left. Now it's like Scrodiger's. Uh, legendary card right like it's a legendary card or it's not but until i click on it it still is i no but we got a rare one we got a rare one and that's dope we got a summoner so that's not a bad uh bad card to get let's see if i can go to my collection and upgrade all my summoner cards because i'm sure i got a stack of summoner cards so let's go to the beta edition all right, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. oh, here we go. In a type, we're gonna do a uh, summoner. Yeah, I have a bunch of copies of some of them. So let's just uh, level these up. So eight out of 11, so he's gonna, he's gonna level up. Let's see what the stats are. All right, so nothing super, but let's just combine this, get that done. So right now he's on level four. Now he's on level five. And I have one out of 14, so I need at least 13 more cards to combine them to get them to level 6. And combining cards is just like taking them out of the, you know, circulating and, you know, making the card more scarce. And that reflects its, uh, you know, increase in stats. There we go. Alright, got a couple more of these. I want to upgrade before I go to battle. And then I want to try to get some of my quest battles done to earn my uh, rewards cards. Because the reward cards are where it's at right now. Alright, let's go ahead and check in on the tournament. See how everybody's doing. Alright, so Death Cloud still has his two wins. Zero losses. GG. Right, shark monsters yo i know this guy he's uh he's got some serious stats serious stats i never really investigated this uh death cloud character uh diamond league yeah okay i can see why um let's see highest streak 18 total battles 10,200 total wins 4,800 okay let me see if I can find my stats, because I am nowhere near that. 1,130 with 600. So, my stats ain't too bad, actually. 50-50. 50-50? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad, especially because I like the learning process. My longest streak, though, was 14 wins in a freaking row. Uh, I just never really got any champion points. But my highest rank right now has been uh, 1,100, which I've, I feel like I've had more than that at one point. Let me go back. Oh, yeah, back to my collection. And let me do my uh, summoners. Alright, so I got five of these. I need, yeah, I need way more than that. But as you can see, 59 cents, 59 cents, 59 cents, 59 cents, 649, right? And then I'm going to combine all their values. And now this card is worth $8.84. And that's on the market for Steam Monsters or, you know, uh, open market. You can do, like, peer-to-peer -peer trades. All right. Yeah, see? Two, it's just for this one card. And I have every single Steam Monster beta card, period. Your opponent fled. <laughs> Oh, I, I yeah, I don't know if that's a disqualification, but you should be fine. I mean, that shouldn't affect you. That's funny that you had a surrender, though. They were like, all right, that's it. I'm out. <laughs> this is too much pressure. I 
every once in a while I run into a pinwheel. I wonder what causes that. Okay. <laughs> that would that looked weird. Alright, so 330 now. Alright. I only got two more I have to do this with, so I'm gonna do it real quick, guys. Uh, I feel like I only need one more of these, right, to get him to level five. Fifty-six cents. Yeah, let me just grab one. Let me just grab the one I need. I'm just gonna get him up to the next level. I hate sitting on that last one. And again, every once in a while, you have a pinwheel scenario. I think this actually might just be my uh, browser. Because uh, I updated it. And ever since then, you know how updates are. Yep, nothing but issues. Come on, I know if I keep clicking on it, it will eventually let me freaking buy it. And the moment I want to give up is the moment it will work. See? I was just about to give up. Got it. See, that was fast too, so I already own the card. I can combine it. And now it's a level five summoner right but check this out it's worth eight dollars so not a bad uh, little nft investment it's a rare summoner too and well let me show you something too because you can also see the uh scarcity so um on this summoner here you can see there's only 300 375 right 375 of these are circulation right now and it's worth $21 on the open market. And you need two of them just to level him up. And you can go to the stats. And you can see where like level two can get you. So um, it gets pretty buffed. It takes, it takes a lot to get these cards leveled up. And if you can get to like level five at 21 now. Like let's go for sale. And you can check by how many they're uh, backed by. So, uh, go ahead, this one. So, backed by 11 cards. There's 11 cards. It's a level 4. Uh, looks like it's $242. Wow. And then, let's see, by price, the cheapest card right now is 21 bucks. That's the one. And then it jumps to $24.90, $25. And this is uh, supply and demand, you know, the peer-to-peer -peer marketplace style. Uh, let's see, I gotta do this one and then the other one. So 731 right now, but then 46, 46, so 9, 14. Ah, oh, one off. One off again. 70 cents, not bad. Such a pet peeve to like just be like one away from the next level. <clears throat> and this again. Hey, at least it didn't take more than one more shot, so we're making progress. Let's see if this pinwheel does something on its own without me having to refresh. Okay, there we go. I thought so. I had faith in it. It may take a second now. Yeah, see, I may have to refresh it for it to actually show. Hey, 420. <laughs> 420. Oh, man, now it's about to be 421. Alright, I think that was all of my summoners. 
Nope, one more. Yep. <clears throat> So I'm combining all of my summoners. Oh, you're welcome. No problem, man. Hope you get something dope out of that beta pack, bro. So I need four more. Five more. Eh. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. All right, let's go to battle and see what my quest is for today. So I have to use the Earth Splinter. I mean, I probably should have bought those five cards, but it's whatever. Right, so we have to build an earth splinter team and if neutral monsters are available i'll probably send out my hydra yes uh so right now the rules of combat uh earthquake no flying monsters take uh two melee damage at the end of each turn so non-flying non-flying so every land basically and then you can see like your enemies uh different types I have 21 mana, and these are the playable splinters. You'll see if you can't play a certain one, it'll be grayed out. And I want to use flying, so I don't get hit with that 2 damage every freaking time. So, let's use some dragons. Since I have 21, I'm probably going to go heavy with the melee. And it doesn't matter which team I use, but... I Actually, no, it does. I had to use... Um... Well, it's Earthquake, so whatever. It's not every fight you can do a quest not everyone because uh, of the rules you gotta play smart oh, of course not all right let me see what I can do with this last three do I have anybody that flies with three hey she looks like she can fly okay so I have two dragons, one's using some magic, I got a pretty strong melee out the gate because of that buff with the dragon buff, and I have a magic flying at the end with my little pixie fairy, uh, so let's see what Tinkerbell can do right there on the back end, but you know, she's, she's rolling into the fucking battlefield with two badass dragons and one's got like, what, five fucking heads? Yeah, okay, this is like the Daenerys right now, the situation. Alright, so they went pretty heavy on multiple cards that have range attack, and I didn't really use anything that had a heal, so I probably should have went with a heal or a tank heal, and I keep missing. Stop missing. I, I can't afford to miss. I cannot. I couldn't afford to miss. I went all heavy. See, this is my problem. I try to use cool cards that are badass, and it's not just, it's not the way to go, so. Gotta use more strategy, but I wanted to use my damn dragons, damn it. So we have to use the Earth Splinter uh, right now because it doesn't really affect anything. We have such little mana. I'm just going to use this card here. And I have a tank heal. So depending, I don't know. This one's 6 mana with 2 and 10. 7 with 3 and 6. I'll use this. And let's see if I have anybody that can do magic. Magic here. Magic here with the tank heal. And I have another three left over. And I could probably use this card here on the back end that has the ranged. The ranged, not deranged. Uh, yeah, I might do that. Cause that's the most like damage I can do for three mana is two damage with that. All right, let's see what we can do. Put them up. Hmm. Let's see. Of course, I got the uh, melee debuff or whatever you want to call it, which sucks. But this card's uh, range, so it couldn't attack. This card's range, can't attack. 
See, that's how I gotta play. More strategic. Alright, so I'm at 1691, and I really gotta get to 1901 or whatever so I can get to the uh, Gold League. Because if you look right here at the Gold League, or my current league anyway, uh, Silver League, I need to get the Gold, and that's 1900. And then I get 22 cards at the end of the season, and that season ends in an hour and 30 freaking minutes. So I gotta try to get ranked up real quick and in a hurry about 300 points twenty four mana I could use the buff here and see if I could use anything with range um, let's see what I can build up so I'll use my hydra with the heal here I'll throw her out in second place for the tank heal. And now I'll look for those ranged attacks. So I have two here. And that gets a buff. Do I have anybody that has more than two? No. It looks like two's like the top. And I would love to use her. It doesn't give me much mana left though. And I feel like I should spread it out. Uh, even if I use this one though. I only got three left. Three. I don't have anybody left that has like a ranged attack at three mana. Oh wait, yeah, I do. I almost missed my earth elemental. All right, let's do some work. Now we got these buffs. See, he only did one, but now he's gonna do two. Okay. Not a bad team. I have uh, some confidence in this one actually, because the Hydra has heal. I have tank heal right here with her, so they'll be able to heal him up if, yeah. Yep, I don't know now. Air Elemental's a badass, and this Silver Shield Palatin dude just kicks my ass every time. We're the adversary cards here, and then he has his tank heal on the back end. So she's going to be healing each card in the first place. See? See? So, as I heal, she's healing him, but they're doing more damage to my Hydra than I could handle. I can't bear to watch. I can't. I can skip to the results. We all know what's about to happen. So, I gotta win four more ranked battles to get my quest rewards cards with the Earth Elemental. So, I don't really use this Elemental either, like, ever ever I feel like I should just play my neutral cards because I know them Tried to get a full squad so I could put all five cards out. Or six cards. <sighs> Let's see. So he's got... <clears throat> He's got a nice shield buff. I can't really see what's happening with my up. Uh, oh. Can't really see what's happening with my Hydra because he's hiding behind my dwarf. Come on, Grumpy. He's like, there we go. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's these these two cards. I can't do. I'm not an Earth Splinter kind of guy. I'm really not. So this is like super handicap quest. I can I can request to get a new quest, which I probably will after this battle right here, and probably get something hopefully like water or fire, something better. Alright, so I have 26. I have to use my buffs. See, I could just do some crazy shit. That might not help anyway, either. Because this doesn't have heal. So, I could throw out the tank heal in second. Alright. And Buddy has reach, but that don't matter. I might use... Flying. Sneak. No. Four left. I think this is the only card I can really play. Alright, let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. I need to get I need to crush this stupid earth quest. Cause it's like a personal thing now. Fucking shield didn't do shit. Should have used the Hydra. Should have used the Hydra. I can't stand this quest, dude. I'm definitely changing it. New quest. Earth is the worst. I cannot use those cards. Alright, water. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so hopefully I can get these five done five in a row. Like, that's that would be perfect. Alright, five in a row. Let's go for it. I can't even fucking use this one. Can't even use it. I could OP my Hydra with this card. Now I have 10 left. We use this one. She has to heal. This actually has a bunch of two mana cards in this deck. Take it. Take it. It's hard to f <clears throat> it's hard to find like you know two mana cards, and ooze I think is the only one mana, and I just pretty much bought as many as I could. Alright, so hopefully after this, I can actually use the Water Splinter. Alright, so... Yeah, he broke my shield right off the gate. Fuck. Dude, this Hydra has been letting me down hardcore recently. What is up with that, right? That Hydra. Do I have to fucking level him up or something? Man, my computer's so laggy when I stream. I have a 
bunch of these cards. Wow, I should really like upgrade all of them. So I have two Hydras. Yeah, so I can at least upgrade this one. Wow, okay, so this one's worth 2480 and this one's worth 124. All right, let's do it. Yeah, dude, like I said, this Hydra is usually a really good card to play. I don't know why he's been letting me down. Now I at least have Thorns and it's worth $37.20. Alright, so Thorns is basically anytime somebody hits me, they get hurt back, so I can I can live with that. Alright, so water elemental. Alright, then I'm gonna throw out my hydra with the thorns now. And uh, I need somebody that has range. Oh, he doesn't even have heal anymore. Look at that. That's right. Monsters lose all abilities. Okay, so no abilities. Huh. That makes it a little difficult. Yes, this is hard because they have no abilities. It's just straight up. Like ranged, melee, melee, range. And these are all ranged cards. And he's going to use magic, right? Yeah, I knew he was going to use a magic card. I feel like I've been fighting the same person over and freaking over again. Fuck. I am on a straight up lose streak today. I cannot catch a win. This is an insane fucking stream. I cannot believe this is happening. I cannot catch a single fucking win. What is happening? I'm at a loss. Yo, how goes it, Sergio? How goes it, bro, bro? Dude, I'm trying to break this lose streak, man. It's insane. I feel like I might be cursed. Oh, man. Hit me with that 420 super chat. I'll show you where the bud's at. I just ate an edible earlier, bro. I'm wrecked. And I'm going to be streaming a tournament here on my Ethereum later. So uh, sign up for my Ethereum.io. Let me uh, zoom in on that. And uh, tournaments. So in two hours, there's these two tournaments. And I'm actually in the uh, Pure Survivor, actually. I could do both, maybe, even with the Pure Awakening. 
And now I'm in both tournaments that start in two hours, 18 minutes, and that's being hosted by my bro, bro, Yespa. So I'll be streaming that in a little bit. After this uh, couple games of Steam Monsters here, finally, bro, I broke my lose streak. I broke the lose streak. God, that was an insane run. Yeah, I gotta get four more wins with that uh, water splinter, and then I can get some free cards. And some of these free cards are worth, like, decent money. So we're gonna see if I can sell the rewards cards and see what we can get. Thanks, man. I need all the luck I can get, bro. Alright, so summoners do nothing. I'm just going to go with the cheapest costing mana summoner. Since I saved, I'm probably going to use my sea monster because he has the heal. Uh, second, I'll throw out my crustacean king because he has the tank heal. And then I can kind of build up around that. Uh, swap them around if I need to. Yeah, I'll throw out my uh, Grumpy Dwarf. He has a uh, reach and a good shield and uh, health for only four mana. Let's see. See, my water elemental can put in work, and then I could try to use the uh, pirate archer at the end there with his ranged. It's only going to do one, but it's a two mana monster. Like, what the hell can you expect? You know what I mean? Alright, uh, I need to do this. I need to get this quest done. Let's do it. Alright, so I have the sea monster out. Yeah, these two cards are just my arch nemesis. This whole lineup. Just, I gotta figure out how to beat this lineup. Of course I miss. That's the friggin' problem. I keep missing. Zero. How is it that I do zero? No way. Alright. I finally broke through. I just need my Grumpy Dwarf to hold up. And I think he might be able to do it. Yes! Grumpy Dwarf for the fucking win, bro! You go! Whew! Alright. Alright, so I need three more wins with the Water Splinter. I can get these rewards cards on deck. Alright, and I can use it too. Let's see. Uh, reverse speed. So monsters with the slow with the lowest speeds attack first. So I'll show you where that speed is. So this would be a speed boost. So we don't want that speed boost. But we gotta look at the slowest. So this one's like a two. I have a two. So and he has the heal, so I'll take it. Slowest again, right here with a one. Let me put him out. Then I'll put this guy, Crustacean King, out so he can help heal. Uh, let me see. Who else should I use? See, I could use the uh, this uh, Water Elemental and try to use him again. Fingers crossed. That, that Water Elemental has heal, and he puts in work, too. And the Grumpy Dwarf's gonna go second, so hopefully my Divine Healer lasts long enough to heal him. Or not Divine Healer, Crustacean King. Either way, tank heal. It's like insane to see this lineup so many times of cards it's like this is the go-to lineup 
right now. Lost my tank heal. Lost my sea dragon. Yep, that's game. Damn, dude, that's like the lineup of cards right there. Everyone's fucking using that lineup. Seriously, it's insane. And I got to do these quests. So it's not even like I can use any lineup I really want. That's insane. Alright, so let me see. Neutral monsters may not be used. Alright. Heal. Tank heal. Ranged. Now you know what? Oh no, that doesn't even matter. It's the only other one I could use. Huh. It's a tough choice. Yeah, let's see what I can put together with this team. Because I got the Sea Monster and Water Elemental, and that's usually a good combo, but... Watch, same lineup. Di oh, no, okay, maybe something different. There we go. Now everybody's working in synergy. I think that leaves me with two more. Yeah, two more wins. Non-flying monsters take two melee damage. No, I didn't. I did not mean to do that. What happened? Alright, it's like all four dragons are about to go out. And look at this little dude. It's like the little guy from Mulan. He's about to go out with all the big dragons. Yeah, so they should take two damage because of the earthquake. Yeah, earthquake. Screw this lineup, man. 
This is like the ultimate lineup of cards right now. It's insane. Wow, did you see that battle though? Holy crap, that came down to like the wire. Alright, three out of five, I need two more. Two more wins with the winter splinter, the water splinter. Thinking Game of fucking Thrones, winner, winner. Alright. No modifications. Oh wait, I don't have enough mana. Huh. Not enough mana. Sixty man is so low. Yo, thanks, Sergio. Much appreciated, bro. Have a day. Look, different person, right? Different username, same cards. It's real suspicious. Same cards. I got to take out that divine healer with my shark. One more. That's it. You're going to stop getting those stupid heals off now. And then my shark's going to go with for you. There we go. That's how it's done. One more and I get to unlock my quest card rewards. And I'm almost at 1700. So two more hundred points, two, two more hundred points on my score, and I get to the gold league. And look, I'll throw out my ooze just to be that guy. Go Uzi, go Uzi, go, go Uzi, go Uzi, go. That's a different lineup. <coughs> now, unfortunately, his last card had range. Couldn't do anything in the first position. See? 1739. And I get my claim my rewards cards. Alright, let's see what we can d get out of the box. Alright, we got four rewards cards. All right, we got a news. Okay, yo, this is this is one of my um, this is one of the good ones here. I like that. Oh, look at that one, bro! Undead Minotaur. 
All right, so let's see. Undead Minotaur. So it's worth one cent, but I have a few of them. So I can combine my undead minotaurs into one undead minotaur. And I'm one away, and it was like a penny, so I'll pick one up for a penny. One penny. And I'm going to use Steam because super tiny, super tiny, small microtransactions like that. Look how quick it works. Alright, and all I have to do is refresh because I should have two here. Now I can upgrade it to level four by combining this last one. So I have six out of seven. Now I'm going to get seven out of seven. Alright, so yeah, there we go. Now I'm at level four. And you can always check out the card stats. So level four. So I have to wait till I'm at level six and I can get retaliate. Which is pretty badass. And the card's mana costs never increase. Alright, let's see if I got a new quest available in 22 hours and 36 minutes. So right now, I just kind of want to get up uh, as far as I can, hopefully, right? And get to uh, 1900 and get into that gold rank and secure those cards that I can get in an hour. So it doesn't matter what cards I use now at this point. Huh. There we go. See, I feel like I should use this card and just have the one extra mana and just deal with it. And just deal with not using all of the mana. Don't forget, guys, a, we have a Mytherium tournament coming up in a little bit. So in two hours, we have the Awakening, or if you have the uh, Survivor cards, you can get those for free. So you can enter this tournament right here and win some MX, and it starts in two hours, and all you need are the Survivor cards, right? And you get those for free, absolutely free. All you have to do is log in on Mytherium.io. Log in with your MetaMask and you can claim that Survivor Edition cards for free. And then you could enter those tournaments, the Survivor Edition tournament. And uh, right now there's a bunch of slots available. As you can see there's only like four of us at the moment. But it does cost 5 MX and MX is the in-game currency. So I got a little bit of MX. I need to start stacking that up, that's for sure. All right, so we have a full lineup versus a full lineup. This is gonna be pretty, uh, pretty punch for punch for a little bit because of that bu debuff I got. Look at all the debuffs, dude. I've been slowed down and my attack has been debuffed and my speeds and shit. Let me speed this up at least on the uh, the viewing side. Oh no, yeah, he's gonna be able to take me out. No, I thought he was gonna be able to take this card out. Yeah, I need him to keep attacking that second card. Reach is gonna help attack the first card here with him. There we go, and now there's only range left. And I got it. I got it, and I only lost one man on the battlefield. Way better than uh, the Game of Thrones guys did. Look, 1775, so I'm pretty close to getting to the, uh, the Gold League. 
All right, so it's not it's not far. It's within reach, guys. It's within reach. Go, go to fight, go, 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 go team. So it looks like we both knew exactly which cards we were going to use regardless. And uh, yeah, he ends up using a bit more. Uh, he has more attack, that's for sure, on the battlefield right now. So he has that sneak. He's going to come for him. He's going to go for him. Yeah, there we go. Lost my Crustacean King already. Yep, that that was a that was a bad lineup on my part, man. Bad lineup on my part. I lost my win streak bonus. I gotta get that back if I want to get up to the gold league in time. Right now, at the end of the season, I get 18 cards for free. And I just got four rewards cards for free, too. Alright, so there's no buffs at all here. So that sucks. All right, let's see. This is a full lineup again. Full team. 26 mana is a lot of mana. There's a lot to play with. Let's see what we did here. So this is like a rematch. Rematch. Finally got him. That's because I'm using this lineup, man. This is that lineup right here. I might as well use the lineup of the night, the one I've been seeing so often. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see where that gets me. This fucking guy. The Lord of Darkness. I don't know why I didn't put him in second. He ain't doing shit unless he's in second. Alright, now he might do an outreach. Yeah. Horse. No way. No way. How's that happening? Zero. How is this? Okay, I was like, yo, how is this even friggin' happening right now? He's got this. Because he has heal down here, and I do not have heal. Yeah, you got that. That was crazy. That was a fight. This is my go-to for 16. Use the heal, the sneak, and the tank heal. And then melee, melee range. Yeah, 16 is just not enough mana to do much. Could play a bunch of like 2 and 3 cards instead of the 8. But it's nice to have a heal out front line. What is this, Zordon? I don't feel like I'm fighting the fucking Power Rangers right now. Yo, that heal is insane. Get it. 1800. Dude, I only need a hundred more. A hundred more and I have plenty of time and I can get to the gold league. And I can, can I can get these 22 cards for free at the end of the season. Actually, I wonder if I can use this as my 16.
The only one I really have for two would be this. That's a fucking team right there, though. Like, seriously, like, this is the gangster team. He threw out his fucking shield, though. He's got a shield buff. Or maybe not with his summoner. I mean, that mine comes with a shield buff. Maybe it's because I leveled mine up. Why am I doing zero? Zero, 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 every... How is this possible? Every time I do zero? That was insane. I don't get it. I was doing every attack was a zero. Every attack was a zero, though? What? Uh, none of these. Alright, so yeah, the monsters lose their ability. That fucks with everything. Yeah, when there's no uh, abilities on the on the cards, it kind of kills like kills my whole vibe. This guy, this guy again. That's a crazy, I didn't even think that that was enough mana for that lineup even. Oh, I gotta get back up.
All right, looks like I won that. Hey, how goes it, Juan? I'm like wondering if I have an air elemental or not. This air elemental is a badass. This is gonna go on for a while. I'm gonna skip to results. Oh, thank God I won. That was going to be a long battle. Yeah, I'll use a sneak. See if that works out. From Peru. Well, I don't know how to say how goes it in Spanish, but que pasa. <laughs> oh, I appreciate the subscribe, bro, bro. Thank you. Much appreciate it, man. Do you have a Steemit account? If you have a Steam Monsters account, let me know your Steemit username. If you have a Steam account, drop your Steemit username, bro, bro. Like that's what I mean, zero and zero. Why do I keep, why do I keep doing zeros? I ended up winning, but still, seeing all those zeros is just frustrating. I'm almost in the gold league. Hmm. Yeah, I got the air elemental right here. Yeah, Juan, drop your Steam account username if you play Steam Monsters, or if not, even if you have a Steam account for Steam It. This peaceful giant, though, he has 10 health and he just sits there. And gets his ass beat relentlessly. It's insane. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So every turn, all three of his attack mine. And that giant is just going to take one damn... Wow, that's a really good team. That is a really good team. 
Yeah, no surprise. I lost that one. That was an interesting opponent. All right, I got to get 100 points on the ASAP. Oh, they don't want to, wait. Monsters do not have any armor and do not get armor from abilities. All right, yeah, that's fine. Actually, might help me out with that, just having him there for that one turn. does this every once in a while it just bugs out weird all right there we go On the road to the Gold League. Of course, that's right. Math. Math. Mana math. Two point four steam today. I 
think I got that one. That is the first time I've had a draw. Taking a screenshot of this. That's the first time I ever had a draw. Fifteen mana though, that's like an insanely low amount of mana. I think that's the lowest it goes actually. Yeah, we had a very similar idea except he went tank heal. That's probably going to help him out. Gang up on them. Gang, gang. About 52 points away from the Gold League. And only a few minutes to spare. Thirty points away.
Wow. This is insane. And now he has this guy to back him up. Look at this. Yo, bro. This is like I'm getting rolled on. Eventually I win. And I'm in the gold league. And I'm in the gold league. Done. Did it. Gold league. Alright. So right here, as you can see, I earned 22 reward edition cards. And that comes to me in 24 minutes. So, yeah. Excitement. And I want to see... I have car so many cards I have to like upgrade and combine. It's pretty crazy. All right, so don't forget we have another tournament. $30 tournament right here. Pack of Awakening cards, 10 Steam and 5 Steam, depending on which place you come in. And I want to show you how easy it is to create a tournament. So you have your save tournaments here, right? You can go to load. All right, maybe they're just a little bit buggy sometimes. Okay, 8 p.m. Alright, next. Hmm, weird. I wonder if their tournaments have a uh, have a bug right now. It's weird. Okay. Alright, so let's do Gold League since that's hopefully what we're going to be doing. Alright, let's do 10 Steam, 5 Steam, 2.5 Steam. Alright, so it's about. Actually, we'll do 1. Yeah. All right, and then for this, I use the uh, tiny pick. Super easy. All right, so now on the second, we're gonna do a tournament here. And as you can see, it's only gonna be about 20 steam, I think, to create the tournament. Yeah, 21.6, so let's go ahead and make this. All right, and now when I go to create a tournament, hopefully this one works because then usually all you have to do is change the date to the third and you hit next, keep going. Everything stays the same. And then we have a tournament on the first, the second and the third now.
Let me make sure I have enough steam in my account to make another one. So I have 30 more steam. So we can go ahead and do another tournament. Oh, I forgot to uh, load it up. And then we just change the third to the fourth. And that's how easy it is to set up reoccurring tournaments on steammonsters.com. And give away some crypto. In a tournament. To like cross promote. That's what I'm doing here with this Mytherium. So tournaments. Hosting. And as you can see I'm hosting these. I want, I want to participate because I want a chance to win some of my Steam back. Of course. So like I said. Tomorrow. Friday night. 8 p.m. We're going to be doing uh, one pack of Awakening, and then every day, $5 worth of Steam. Alright, hosting. And these are the tournaments I'm going to be hosting all week, and I'll be adding more. So the 5th, the 6th, the 7th, every day at 8 p.m., there will be a tournament to win at least $5 worth of Steam. And then on Friday, something a little bit more juicier, like a pack of Awakening cards that are worth about $25 in ETH at 0.158 in value for the 10 cards in the pack of Awakening for Mytherium.io. So, yeah, and check it out. I did get, I did get my Gold League. So I'm in the gold league and I get 22 cards for free in seven, in about 18 minutes. All right. So I'm going to wrap up this live stream. I'm going to get ready for my next live stream. And that's going to be with my theorem.io in about an hour and 20 minutes, uh, maybe an hour and 15. I'll go live and there's two tournaments right now. <clears throat> so if you have awakening cards, you can join the awakening tournament. If you have the survivor survival cards, right, you can join this tournament. And you can get those for free. Just go to mytherium.io. Check out the Survivor Edition cards. They're absolutely free. Just log in with MetaMask. And if you want, you can purchase a couple of these Awakening cards. We were doing a uh, promotion where if people join my alliance... But I have seven, 70 people that have joined my alliance and we have given away 70 packs of awakening cards. to one to each member of the alliance, not another guild. And as you can see, I am the king. And uh, yeah, we have a decent amount of raids, 10% tax, but we have done 325 total raids with almost 1,000 MX uh, total uh, rated. So that's a decent amount right there and uh, collected almost 1,000 right here. So it's good to join the, uh, the guild, guys. And uh, check out steammonsters.com. And don't forget to join the tournaments. And again, Friday, 8 p.m., here we go. The Pack of Awakening, 10 Steam, 5 Steam, depending on which place you come in. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Much appreciated, everybody. Have a night. Have a day. Don't forget to drop some comments. Let me know what you think of these uh, blockchain games, all right? And if you have a Steam account, drop your Steam account username in the comments below. Have a night.